Aloha, everybody. Thank you for being with us tonight. Some interesting findings out of new studies at Hawaii's most iconic beach. According to the University of Hawaii at Manoa, Waikiki is actually growing from south swells. That's contrary to the enormous swells that pound and erode the North Shore. Bryce Moore has details. UH Manoa's Climate Resilience Collaborative says waves hitting Waikiki Beach doesn't mean the sand is going away. I think people tend to associate swells with beach erosion. People think of sort of the North Shore of Oahu with these large swells taking large amounts of sand off of the beach. However, in this case, in Waikiki Beach, yeah, those south swells are associated with an accretion or a building of the beach. Using consumer-grade drones, geospatial analysts are able to cut down what used to be an eight-hour day of groundwork. Drones, we can do the same amount of work in about an hour, and it allows us to conduct surveys with greater frequency and thus reveal changes on the beach that we wouldn't otherwise see. You can measure things like the volume and the beach slope and the beach width, and we get really, really a lot of detail out of it. Anna Mickelson's two-year study found no clear seasonal signal, meaning the time of year didn't play in to whether Waikiki Beach was growing or eroding. But what is clear, she says, is south swells adding sand to the beach. When the water levels are higher and there's the regular trade wind waves, then there's actually more erosion occurring than just during regular conditions. I asked McDonald. So is it fair to say that south swells kind of push up on Waikiki from the bottom, leading to more sand being deposited, but then trade swells are more east to west and there's nothing being pushed up? You've got it, yeah. That's the general idea. It's not only for Waikiki. The Climate Resilience Collaborative is currently collecting data from all around Oahu to learn more about how the coastlines are changing. We can provide this data to coastal managers, to policymakers, so that they can better manage this beach into the future, especially in the context of climate change and sea level rise. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.